Hey guys, it's Bridgette with San Diego Seed Company, and today I want to talk about garden planning and crop rotation. It's so important in a garden setting that you rotate your crops and that you do a little bit of garden planning. So before I get into those details, make sure you hit the subscribe button, you hit the notification bell so that you get notified anytime we put out really rad content so that you can check it out. So we're here in my garden and you can see I've got tons of different stuff planted. I've got sweet peas, I've got kale, I've got broccoli, I've got flowers that I've squished in between, I've got lettuce, I've got poppies. I mean, the list goes on and on. How did I decide what to plant? Well, there's a couple different things you wanna think about. First of all, you wanna think about garden planning. Now, if you plant a crop next to another crop that doesn't do really well, well, then your garden's not gonna be super happy. And so you wanna plan it out correctly. So one of the considerations to have is to make sure that you don't plant anything that will shade another crop. A good example here is I've got these really tall purple sprouting broccolis. Now I planted these really tall purple sprouting broccolis so that they wouldn't shade my lettuces that are over here. Why? Because if they shade them too much, they're not gonna grow really well and then I'm gonna have a lot of pest issues and things like that. So knowing what crops are going to get taller and shade your other crops is really important to your garden planning. Now another thing to think about is some plants just do really well together and some don't. A good example is you probably don't wanna grow a watermelon in your tomato patch. You can't even get to your tomatoes because you can't walk. Like here, I put things almost a little too close. I can barely get through here and pick my beautiful calendula that we use to make calendula oil. It's almost too close together, so I almost cut it a little close there. Another thing to think about when you're planting your garden is if you're, if you're not on irrigation, you wanna put plants that like the same wetness together. Meaning, let's say you have some extra succulents and you wanna stick those in the garden. I wouldn't stick them near any of your vegetable crops because those need a lot more moisture than your succulents do and you're likely to drown one or the other one might be too dry. You can't keep them both happy, so that's an important thing. Now, let's talk about crop rotation. So, it's a really popular subject, obviously, because it's really important. You wanna rotate your crops so that you don't have an accumulation of really bad pests and also so that you don't continue to deplete the same nutrients from your soil year after year after year. Now, if you're in a garden setting, chances are you don't have a huge amount of space. We're very fortunate that we do, but even still, having enough room to rotate my crops year after year is really difficult. So I just wanna point out some of the most important things that you should think of when you're thinking about rotating your crops. One, it's a good idea to switch up where you plant a particular crop, not just so that you don't take the same nutrients out of the soil every single year, but also you'll notice that some plants do really well in one part of the garden and they don't in another. And if you don't switch where you plant them, you'll never find out that information. So trial and error is really, really important in the garden. The other thing to think about when you're doing crop rotation is making sure that you don't plant the same crop variety over and over and over and over. Because like, for example, these are purple sprouting broccolis. They get huge and they take a lot of nutrients from the ground. If I plant these again and again and again in the same area, it will deplete the same nutrients. So I will actually move these to the other side of the, of the property and then bring them back here. I kind of switch back and forth. The only way you can do that is if you make sure you keep a really good garden log or garden journal so you know what to plant when. There are some pests that really like a particular crop. And if you plant that same crop year after year after year in the same spot, you're likely to have an accumulation of that particular pest, especially if you're growing in raised beds or pots. So by switching out what you grow every year, you kind of, um, you, you throw those pests for a loop a little bit so that they're not getting used to being in the same area and feeding off of the same plant. Now I know a lot of what I'm talking about might sound really overwhelming and it is and that's because crop rotation really is um, meant for the commercial grower for the big farmer think about a farmer that's growing a thousand acres of corn if he grows a thousand acres of corn in the same area year after year after year after year 
he's likely going to degrade the soil and also cause a lot of other issues um, in the environment. So crop rotation is more important for commercial farmers when they're growing huge amounts of, of, of the same crop in an area, like thousands and thousands of corn, of acres of corn <clears throat> can deplete the natural resources very quickly. In a small garden setting, it's not as concerning. Now, the one thing I really wanna point out that is so important in a garden is diversity. At the end of every single row, we have tons of flowers. And we do that because it brings beneficial insects to the garden and it just, it, it makes her a beautiful garden setting and it also helps us grow really beautiful crops. You'll see we have rows that we have interplanted where we have diverse uh, crops. Now, if you're a beginning gardener, just keep in mind every year you're gonna learn something. So keep that garden journal close, that diary close, write down everything that you learned year after year so that you can put it into action the next year. So again, guys, have a great growing season and make sure if you like this content and you wanna learn more from us, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be notified anytime we put out a great video.